With our new CT scanner, uh, we have actually upgraded our speed. So that's important for patients who are coming in, either outpatient or through the emergency department who are getting CT scans, that they will be lying on the table for a less you know, amount of time, which is really important for patients that potentially have issues lying still or just are nervous about their test. We're, you know, it's really great if we can just get them through the scanner quickly and get their images done. Um, that new CT scanner also comes along with some um, new perks as far as being um, decreased in dose. So we've heard people talk about in the past um, the limits for uh, radiation exposure and with CT um, there is a component of x-ray being used. So with this new scanner we're seeing that the doses are less than what we utilized before. And it's important for people to know that this new technology is giving us the chance to treat every patient individually. So every patient of different body type, gender, those sorts of things, the scanner is actually able to detect certain densities in their body and so it's only using the dose necessary to get their test completed. Um, so we're able to stay lower dose on every single patient that comes through the door rather than modifying that as a factor um, when we're setting up the scan. So it, it's something that it does automatically now. We also um, have a couple of add-on, I would say, um, some ways that we can reconstruct images, so ways that we can manipulate images once we've already taken them to give us a different look. This has been really important um, for us in, in patients where they might have metal in their body, so dental fillings, hip replacements, knee replacements. They've come up with a way that we can take out some of the artifact that we get from those pieces of metal being in the body. So if there's a piece of metal in a bone, it creates a lot of scatter, a lot of uh, what we call beam hardening. So it creates an artifact that doesn't allow us to see the rest of the structures around there very well. And they've come up with a way to kind of eliminate that or reduce that for us on this new scanner that we didn't have before. So if we've had a patient that has had a lot of dental work or any kind of metal um, within or around their teeth, there were times where we were looking for potentially an abscess or something around their teeth that we just might not have been able to see before because of the, the artifact that went across those structures. And now we're able to clear out those areas and make sure that there's nothing there. And really what we're looking to do is really just to stay relevant as a small community hospital um, that provides regional care. We want to be able to send people onto Des Moines and onto Iowa City when we need to, but we want to be able to provide the imaging you know, that they would provide their patients with there so that if people come in and they need to be transferred off, we're seeing now that a lot of, a lot of our examinations that we perform here are very acceptable and welcomed at those outside facilities. So we feel and we know that we are um, doing a good job in keeping up to speed and trying to stay relevant um, with the rest of the imaging world.